Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from exudeautomation.com and welcome to part 13 of our TypeScript Fundamentals video series. And in this video we are talking about namespaces in TypeScript. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 12 and 11 because this part is going to be a complete continuation of those two parts. Alright, so let's get started. Namespaces. Note, the modules are much better than namespace in TypeScript because namespaces are currently an internal modules of TypeScript and external modules are now simply modules. So namespaces are kind of internal modules which means it is slowly being used exclusively for maintaining the, the legacy code of the TypeScript internally and it is not something which is being used a lot for developing your applications, basically, in a high level, I'm saying. So modules are something more recommended by TypeScript as well. So try to go with modules rather than namespace. And that's why I have kept this particular video at the last of the series because it's kind of not that important. So comparing namespaces with C Sharp, yes, namespaces have the same meaning in TypeScript as well, mainly to maintain the code much organized and much neater way since you can reduce the friction of same type usage from different files. So the namespace declaration in TypeScript is going to look something like this. You can see that it has a namespace and there is a name at the namespace keyword followed by a name of the namespace. And then you have an export function of the name of the function and then pretty much the same thing right so this is basically telling that you can export a function you can export a class you can export an interface you can export a variable whatever you want to export you can export from this particular namespace right so calling a namespace is done using what is called as a triple slash reference so this is something new we have never discussed this before you can see that there is a triple slash reference of path and followed by the class name. So basically this is going to be something different than the one which we have discussed with the modules. So let's quickly see this in a demo and understand how things work. So for that I'm not really going to work with our existing project, the one which we were discussing so far, the TypeScript basic project. Because since namespace is kind of very isolated and we are not really going to deal with it a lot in our this particular video series I'm going to isolate this completely from our project itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and then I'm going to work from there so I'm just going to go to the PowerShell and then I'm going to create a directory let's call this as namespace example so I'm just going to create a mkdir of namespace example and then I'm just going to navigate to the namespace example and I'm going to open our Visual Studio code over there. So I'm going to quickly add two files here. So the first file is going to be our app.ts file maybe. And the another file which I'm going to add is maybe, let's call this as uh, student dot ts file and for doing for creating a namespace as i already said we have to give a namespace followed by the name of the namespace so let's call this as student calculator something like that which is going to basically calculate the fee of the student by calculating the uh, annual fees something like that so export of a function and let's call this as uh, annual fee calci so here basically you have to just pass the fee amount and it's kind of uh, dummy code so don't really think of the logic here it's pretty simple fee amount and the term so the term you can just pass like how many number of months it is going to you're going to pay the fee and we are going to return the fee amount into the term that's it that's what it's going to return and then i'm going to save it so this is what is the 
way of declaring a namespace and then exporting a function out from a namespace. And now if we go back to this app.ts file, we used to do what? Import, right? Import statement and then we just do dot slash student cal c and from here we just do a control space and we can find maybe the student calculate but you can't. It is going to throw you an error here because you can see that it's not a module. It's actually a namespace which intelligence of Visual Studio's code is actually telling us. So this way is completely wrong. We can get rid of this. So as I already said, we can use the triple slash ref, something like this. Oops, there's so many triple slash. And here you can give the path something like dot slash of student calc.ts, right? And now if I want to call the function annual uh, fee calci, there is a spelling mistake, but it's okay. So let's say calci is equal to, now to call this, we can just do something like this. Student calci, you can see there is a namespace with two braces there. And then if I hit dot, you can see the annual fee calci function is coming in. And I can just pass the number. So I'm paying $10,000 for four times. So $40,000 being heavy. And then I can just do console dot log of the uh, maybe more meaningful way total fee right something like this and now if I run this it is not going to execute so you can see that we require a launch.json file even if I execute it's not going to execute so basically if I want to execute this particular piece of code you can just go to the uh, output window so I can just go something like this run build task you can see there is a terminal here so basically I just want to demonstrate to you how you can do using a terminal of Visual Studio code so in order to execute or maybe compile a code so let's see what is there in this particular directory right now we have only the app.ts file and student calc.ts file so if I want to compile the TypeScript from command line you can use what is called as TSC. We have never came to this point yet. So TSC is the compiler of TypeScript. If you hit enter, you can see there are so many options coming in from the TypeScript compiler, right? And the one which I am very much interested in is the out file. And I'm also interested in the library or the target, something like that. Right, so in order to do this, I'm just going to do a CLS for a clear screen. Again, guys, this is the same PowerShell window that you can see over here, right? So I'm just going to close this guy. And if I come over here, I'm just going to do this TSC, and I am going to t set the target. Guys, remember the same thing which we did in our previous video for setting the target? Over here, you can see we set the target as ES6 and the module as AMD and we also executed the code right that's exactly what i'm going to do here so it is going to be let's call this as es6 or whatever you want and then i am going to set the out file uh, which is going to be something like maybe let's not set the out file i'm just going to set execute the app.ts file so if I just execute this code this time, and now if I just do a dir, you can see now we have a app.js file and a studentcalc.js file. So it has generated these two files. There is no map file yet because we have not set the map as true, source map as true there, right? So which is okay. We don't really require them yet. So now if I want to compile this particular piece of code using node, and if I just compile the app.js, you can see that we are getting an error here. It says the student calci is not defined. And this is very meaningful here because we have splitted this particular app.js and student calci.js in two different files. And there is no module loader which can perform this operation right now. 
So we have to combine these two into a single file. So for that reason, we have to use what is called as out file. So I'm just going to use an out file and let's call this as out.js. There we go. And now if I just do a dir, you can see now we have a out.js file. So now let's compile this out.js file. You can see that we are getting an output here this time as 4000. And this 4000 is actually coming from the value that we passed in over here. So 1000 into 4 is equal to 4000. So this is how you can see that you can work with a namespaces of TypeScript using much simpler way that you can see here, right? So this is what is this guys, this is what is namespace and this is how you can declare and define namespaces within TypeScript and then you can consume the namespace using this triple slash reference path to specify the TS file and then access the methods much like C sharp how you do. But here the only change is the reference path and then in the path we are using the .ts file whereas in our previous videos while we were working with the modules we have never specified the extension of the ts right so that's the only major difference as well so once again guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day